What's up guys, Smart Canopy here. Welcome to another episode of TASG. And today we're gonna continue more on my stories from the Diamond Celebration. Five years ago, this year. So in the last episode, we went into the fact that I messed, I screwed up my 24 hour experience and I never was able to catch uh, the first days of Disneyland Forever and even Paint the Night, two of my favorite shows of all time which in hindsight, two of those shows ended up coming back in 2018 and 2019. Anyways, um, yeah, the Disneyland Diamond Celebration was a very big time. So the first time I went was that 24 hour day. And the second time I went was for my birthday. And, you know, I was really hoping to see um, for the first time Disneyland Forever and Paint the Night because those are two of the biggest things that are actually inside Disneyland Park as well the colors in the other park. California Adventure. That day, I went, I believe it was three days before my birthday, we had some family over. And so we went, it's all fine and dandy. And then all of a sudden at 3.30, it starts to rain. And my birthday is in the summertime. And it starts just slow drizzle. So okay, you know, well, the rain's probably gonna stop and it's probably going to you know, it's probably going to dry out, so no worries. But no, it doesn't. It continues to rain all afternoon long. So much so to the point that it cancels all of the evening entertainment offerings, with the exception of World of Color Celebrate, which I found out while leaving the park. The next time I visited the parks wouldn't be until December. That day happened to be December 29th, 2015, right before New Year's of 2016. And this time around, I went with one of our good friends um, and fellow after school guy, Tyler Jackson. And Tyler Jackson and I, we decided to hang out at the park during winter break. Uh, in January, I'm Mark Catape. We're here at the, well, I mean, I'm here Tyler Jackson's already inside the park. And We're in Frontierland right now. Wait, wait, Mark Twain. We had the um, Hyper Space Mountain. Yeah, let's do, let's do Vlogception. Yeah, Vlogception. Oh, that was the Vlogception right here. Vlogception. Hey. Vlogging. <laughs> vlogging. You're what? We're vlogging. Video vlogging. Hi, hi. Video vlogging. You two. You two. I don't have a two. And that was when we were able to do new experiences. But it was up to Tyler to open my mind up to these new experiences. Because I, like up until 2015, I was such, I was a pussy. All right? I wouldn't go on any hardcore rides. I didn't go, like, to put things in perspective, the first time I rode Haunted Mansion, and this was the holiday edition of the Haunted Mansion, Haunted Mansion holiday, I went on that day 2015 december 29th 2015 and then we went so he had me meet him at space mountain and i was terrified i wasn't ready to like at that time which frankly is kind of you know pathetic you're looking back at it because now i ride space mountain on a consistent basis single rider baby but he had me meet me or yeah we uh, I, he had me meet him on Space Mountain inside the queue, and I like you know we I caught up, and that was the first time I rode Space Mountain. The next ride he had me go on Haunted Mansion, Haunted Mansion Holiday at that time, and I was like, I was afraid of these rides. Like, come on, I was super pathetic, and that very visit also happened to be finally the first time that I ever saw Disneyland Forever and Paint the Night in one night. Boom! 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 Let's go! They were just 
amazing experiences. Um, I remember just waiting there for four hours, and this this becomes a trend later on uh, in the next episode. I uh, we ended up waiting four hours actually for paint the night because again it it was the holiday season and everybody wants to you know live the magic as Disneyland Forever says, and they waited for so long, and I and I still do this trick to this day. I stand behind a trash can in the middle of Main Street by uh, Carnation Cafe. But anyways, we waited for Paint the Night, and Paint the Night was just as spectacular as I had. Um, yes, I shed a uh, yes, I shed a tear or two, but um, we had a lot of fun doing that. And then Disneyland Forever happened. I finally got to see the beacons of light in the air, and that one that meant a lot. It, it was very very special. Um, it's one of those days that I will truly cherish forever. And, you know, I did it with support from a friend and all that stuff. And we had a lot of fun doing that. The Diamond Celebration really meant a lot to me and to millions of other Disney fans out there. And we had a ton of fun. We had a ton of fun doing that. And that's all going to be in that next episode. I'm Mark Canterfay. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe for more. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Okay, so there's people from the Rose Parade. You guys try to stop again.